This video is to show you how to adjust a standard size connector Integra so that there's no gaping at the top so it's nice and tight and snug against baby at the top. I'm going to be using a newborn size demo doll. Um, it's a standard Integra. I've tucked the hood inside just to show, make it easier to show when it's tight at the top so there's nothing in the way. And for anyone that wants to know, it's the natural mother's gyrosol in a purple weft diamond weave. Take your connector. The pattern side faces you. If you've got a solid weave or a plain black connector, the label fits on your left. It's worn apron style, so there's no fold in the waistband. I haven't rolled my waist, I'm going to use clinch it with the accessory strap for a newborn. Um, if it's done correctly, there doesn't need to roll the waistband. Accessory strap also uses the chest strap when they're on your back or to keep it nice and tight and bundled together when it's not in use. Look around the base of the carrier, the higher it goes up, the shorter the body. That's why I don't roll the waist. start to come out. Behind, you can take the opposite side, so it's underneath and grab the foot down. Down. Lift baby's weight and tighten. Lift baby's weight and tighten, and you'll see as I pull, it tightens here. If I keep doing that, I'm only going to tighten across baby's back. What well, doesn't affect the slack that is in this part here. To tighten this, I need to take the slack from here to the tightening system. To do that, lift, and the slack is over my shoulder. And find it, pull it down, and bring it to the opposite side. And lift baby's weight and pull. That's already feeling tighter. Same and round and pull. And repeat if you feel you need to. And that takes the slack out of the hot area. And it's nice and tight against baby.